have a battle for the number nine spot. This is the stats for uh, Ride, Pifo, Jesus Ferreira, and Pepe since July 30th. And look at the criteria. Goals every 90 minutes, Haji Wright taking the lead. What does it say? What does this stat, what does this graphic say to you? Ricardo Pepe should score some goals or he wants to go to the World Cup. That's what it, that's what it says to me. Because as a nine, that's what you're gonna be judged at. Yes, three, three goals for Jesus Ferreira since July 30th. So we didn't see Josh Sargent in this graphic. Is he running out of time to make the U.S. men's national team roster in Qatar? Listen, you're, you're talking to a guy that played zero minutes on the U.S. men's national team in a cycle leading up to the World Cup. I was invited to zero camps. I was not on the radar of Bob Bradley. And through a lot of things that were circumstantial in a good season, I found myself on that 30-man camp where 23 players would board that trip. Josh Sargent has all the intangibles in the world. I look at a young, hungry forward. In the same way I view Brendan Aronson, mm -hmm. how contagious he is yep. on both sides of the ball, Josh Sargent has that, but he's silky with his touch. He's much more technical and smarter than people give him credit for. He's a lot faster and a lot stronger than people realize. He is my favorite nine in the pool. He's the most talented nine in the pool. But it doesn't matter unless you're putting the ball in the back of the net because that's the only defense that these nines will have. The only argument that these nines will have come World Cup time because Greg Berhalter himself has said he will go with the hot hand. Exactly. If as, he is scoring as goals, he should, by the way. If he's scoring as he goals, should. many people will scoff and say it's championship. I don't care. Championship is a top is a top 10 league in the world. If he's scoring goals in the championship, it should be better or as good as Major League Soccer. So everybody right now still has a shot. Mm -hmm. And this man especially. I'm taking notes of what you're saying. Of, which, by the way, I agree with you 100%. Oh, thank you. But for whenever we have this conversation about the Mexican national team number nine, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm taking notes of right. what you said. I'll, I might say the same. Now, do you put the same value to what Jesus Ferreira does in Major League Soccer comparing to Josh Sargent in the championship? I don't want to say goals are more valuable if you score in the second tier division of England as opposed to Major League Soccer. But is that a conversation? Do you put any sort of value to that difference? No, but I do put value in the type of players both are. They're much more similar than a Josh Sargent and Jordan Peefock, than a Josh Sargent and Haji Wright. Those two players are more comparable. When you're talking Josh Sargent, I think he would go into that Jesus Ferreira role, which mm -hmm. is much more yep. what Greg Berhalter would like in his nine. The movement, the intelligence, the interpretation of space, how he relates to other players. Um, on his team, I honestly feel whether it was Werder Bremen uh, or whether it was Norwich last season, it was all about confidence with Josh Sargent. And he was lacking that. And not only that, he wasn't even playing his position. Now, because of an injury, he starts finding himself centrally and he starts scoring goals. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.